I've been messing around a little bit more with Prof's Memory. I really love this deck. It's so fun. I've been trying the Shredder again since I cut it and now it's back up to four. This is, I was, I was correct the first. My intuition was that you cannot play less than four Shredder and I was definitely right. I think Shredder is just so good, specifically if you play a little bit more into it with Duress main deck, uh, allowing you to have like a proactive way to interact with your opponent's hand for so cheap it's so good it's really good if in the mid game when you don't need the duress anymore just discard it off of scholar or discard it off of the shredder itself so you have multiple ways to get rid of these useless cards potentially i do want spell pierce in the main deck i have no idea how to fit it in the main deck i went down to 21 lands actually because i was still flooding on 22 i had no mana issues so it might be correct it might not i don't know i still need to test it a little bit more but 20, 21 definitely feels just right for the stack so far I'm not going to mention anything else about, about the one drops or two drops. I think just one note is I think you cannot go below six one drops. I would argue seven is really the sweet spot. I, I don't I don't know. It's just intuition. I feel like you need one drops in this deck because it combos with Shredder and because specifically in a, an ideal curve out, you're hitting a one drop into memory, into potentially Scholar, and that is the most backbreaking opener you could have. So the higher odds you have of doing that, I think the better. And a card like Dream Thief is just so good overall with the Surveil. You have less lands, right, in 21 lands. So the Surveil really helps. And then the extra draw helps in the mid game as well. And specifically combos with the memory uh, as well, right? So you get extra counters from drawing those extra cards during your main phase. It's just so clutch. Uh, I will say that is about it for the main deck sideboard. So we got two spell pierce, uh, two negate, two tidebinder. That's still the same. I did go down a hearse because it's kind of overkill. I think three hearse is just irrelevant. Now that I have the bat, I have a little bit more interaction either way. So the hearse doesn't feel as necessary against those decks. Two Gix. This is something I've noticed is that Gix just wins you the game sometimes. When it comes down on three, it's uh, the best play you could have most of the time, as long as you don't have specifically memory into Scholar. But on average, if you just have like one or two flyers, slam the gigs against like slower decks, you're just in for a good time. You're going to absolutely demolish them in, in terms of card advantage. You can keep up the pressure uh, with the counter spells post board. It becomes a nightmare as well. The rest and stuff like that. So essentially doubling the odds of me finding a Gix, I think is definitely worth it. And um, we're, we're testing. Oh, yeah, I forgot the main deck. One last thing, I guess, inspired idea is interesting. It's been good, actually. It's been good. The maximum hand size is, is reduced. It does not matter if you have the memory because you have no maximum hand size. So that is pretty interesting. Three mana draw three is ridiculous. Absolutely nonsense. The fact that you can get plus three plus three on a potential bat on a potential vigilance flying creature is absolutely insane and uh you know you have so many cheap spells that this much mana efficiency in a card draw spell is just so good right because you on four you could draw three and like dig deep for duress and potentially hit the duress or hit a creature on five you can hit like two like there's so much the, the amount of efficiency and the amount of digging you do with this is kind of ridiculous for that amount of mana right so it, i think it's worth it I still need to test it a little bit more because if you don't have memory, there might be some specific scenarios where you don't where this hand size restriction matters. I don't think that's the case though, because again, you're with this cheap of a curve, usually you're down a lot of cards by turn three. So it probably is fine either way. And I think this is overall just a good card to have in your deck as one of potentially two of. It's just hard to find more room in this deck. So I think that's about it. But yeah, either way. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay. Check out my second channel, link in the description if you don't want to watch, uh, you know, like roguelike deck builders and stuff like that, or just action roguelikes in general. By the way, I'll leave you with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying the 21 lands. Oh, this is probably a mirror match. Do I want to play off curve? How's YouTube going? Eh, same. Not good. Same as usual. I could go max tempo. But it's, it's bad if they have a bat. It's bad if it's not even a mirror match. Okay, it's not a mirror match. Oof. 
this is going to be an absolute disaster, I think, for me. Mm. Yeah, this is tough. I mean, at least I'm on the play. The only thing that's good about the situation is that I'm on the play, so I have a little bit of leeway to, like, set things up slower than I could have, I guess. Hey, Linky. Yeah, I'm basically streaming, like, once a week or tw <laughs> twice a week, maybe. Definitely not as often as before. This is a good draw. Because then I can actually combo it with the go for the throw. I'm really terrified of this bat, but... it's not too much you can do about it. Now that is a good draw. I want the stats, right? I know they don't have a removal spell in their hand currently, so... And also now this dodger is cut down, and this also dodger is cut down, so... They only have go for the throw as an out. Definitely not as effective. Ooh, okay, that's... Well... That sucks, but... Both of my plays are very good, so it's not a huge deal. Using play with fire as a counter spell. Is play with fire the one mana deal? Oh, wow. I should definitely cast... Oh, wait, they might have counter spell, but... I don't think that matters. I think I still do this. Yeah, they might have Counterspell. I guess either way, I should still do it. But maybe I cast this instead. What's better? I actually think this is better than Shield Run. Because I'm going to need an answer for the Bad God, right? Oh wait, actually no, it's not better, because I can't discard. Well, I can, but I can't. Like, I can and I can't. Oh shit. I guess that was going to pop anyways. Okay, I did not expect that. I, I was expecting counter magic there. Can't attack with that anymore. Play with fire on ammo kit. Transform into prototype thing that lets you copy a spell. Okay, I have no idea what... I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe that was wrong. I don't know. Like, if I just find a removal spell, I'm in such a good spot. I guess I can discard anything, right? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I get it. No, I understand what you're saying now. Six. I, for now, it's been it's been good. For now, for now, it's been good. I'm very happy about this trade. This puts me in a really good spot. Yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. That mastermind 
is such a nightmare, man. <laughs> it's so good. This is definitely like a huge consideration in this deck already, but it's like it does it just does not really fit in the game plan, even though it's a really good card for the mirror against Esper against uh, against ramp against blue white like anything it's it's such a good card it just doesn't really fit too well in the stack i would play it otherwise uh, and and I, it's an absolute nightmare for me so i don't know it's going to be hard to deal with definitely need as many cutdowns as possible get rid of that thing Duress is an interesting one. From what they've shown me, I think it's it's kind of hard to justify. Usually there's a lot more creatures than there are non-creature spells, even though it's really important for me to take the non-creature spells. It's probably still worth playing, but maybe not four, maybe not three, maybe just two. I know removal is really important. I think Tidebinder is not great, but it's okay. This is good. Okay, so I'm not cutting that. I'm not cutting that. I'm maybe considering cutting this. I don't think I can cut that. This is staying. Can't cut the... Yeah, I guess it... Yeah, there's not much room for anything here. There's not much room for anything. All I know is the Fairy Master Man's gotta die. <laughs> Inspired idea. Hmm. How, the question is how many how many copies of this? I don't know. No Gix. I can't play Gix on the draw, and I certainly can't play Gix against Demir because they also have flyers and they also have um more removal spells than I do on average. Actually, that might not be true, but they have equal an equal amount. So most of the time, my creatures are just dying, especially post board. They have to. They know they have to remove my creatures. So, Gix is a definitely a no. Ah, freaking bat! I can't play. Swamp, though, I think. It, it's possible, but then I lose so much tempo on 3 if I don't find a blue. Okay, that's fine. I kind of want to pass, but... It's probably... I don't know, I... I don't know if playing the the long game against their deck is actually viable. Oh wait, they have they have Fairy Mastermind. Should I start with this? If something's gonna die, I cut down anyways. Or do I just get value off of that next turn? Kill the ma the problem is okay. I cannot play this and then kill the mastermind because otherwise it procs first and then they draw anyway. So it's got to be shredder on this turn. Then yep, I have the answer for it. <sighs> that is very bad. That is not a good situation at all. At least I don't have to interact with the Mastermind yet. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this might be okay. So the only situation where I'm actually okay is if they don't draw land and they have to play this and then I can kill both and I can kill Lily and then we're kind of fine-ish. I think I need to land actually. Over to consider. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I do. Ugh. I'm okay just staying on three mana. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I have 20, 
21 land, so... I do have Shield Red in my deck. I do have Steam Core, which uses mana pretty well. I still know if I the... Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna try this, but it might not work out. The only reason I'm, I'm leaning towards consider is that I need to answer this as well. So that means I need to find another answer, which means I need to dig deeper than this. Do I start with... No, I should start with this. No, because what if I find... No, I don't know. I think I have to keep that. This is gonna die. I think I just lose the Preacher. Preacher is just so... devastating. I need to dig still. I don't have enough blue. That would be good. That would be a definitely possible win con, but I don't think that's what we need now. It's it's good if I find a blue. Otherwise, I mean, what else am I looking for? Steam Core Scholar? Yeah, no, there's better. There's better. There's worse, though, too. There's definitely worse. If I draw Duress here, it's really, really bad. This gets countered. Am I in trouble? Okay, I'm in trouble. They drew another one. Okay, damn it. I found it too. It, and they found another one. <laughs> That's really bad. I would have I would have been totally safe there. But since they found a third copy of Reacher... It's not looking as good. I have to make sure the life linkers can't attack. Goddamn preacher, so insane, man! <laughs> it's so crazy. Sorcery speed, sure. I get an extra card, I guess. Damn, I don't have. I need blue. Uh oh. Oh my god, no. So bad. I have a bad feeling about this game. I need to find shield red, I think, at this point. Actually, it's still winnable. Okay, I need to find Shield Red, Inspired Idea, Steam Core Scholar, and then maybe there's some some way to stabilize this. Like it's not these don't do that much as long as I have a blocker. That's actually bad. I needed this. Oh, wait, what? How is taking that ever correct there? Nope. Nope. Is it Dream Thief activation for mana efficiency, but then... Yeah, probably. I gotta use my mana, I think. Okay, that might do something next turn. Maybe. Big maybe. 
At least we're not even HP. Yeah, that's that's rough. That is not good. Hearse is reprinted, really? Honestly, I don't have enough blue. I need to find none of that. Damn it. Are we dead here? I think maybe. I mean, either way, I think I lose. Yeah, I don't. I don't have life link. Yeah, it's kind of over. This was brutal. I don't have enough removal for, yeah, maybe. Do I need to add more Tofa throats? Because I only have three and that doesn't seem like it's enough against some decks. Like specifically this one. It's definitely not enough. That's not good enough. Shield rad maybe? Oh, that's interesting. The stats matter? I don't think so, but this is not good enough either way. I guess the stats the stats don't matter, right? Now that does matter. Gotta make sure everything dodges cut down. Okay, shield red. Uh oh, that Marax is very dangerous. I need to find another spell, that's for sure. Okay, that's not exactly what I want, but it'll have to do. Okay, that's definitely not what I want. Uh oh. Oh, we're dead. Urtai, and we're dead, yeah. Well, they have to do it though, so... Not over. Oh wait, no, because they can't... They can't do that. And activate Marek, so we're actually not dead. Okay, shield red? Oh, oh yeah, I'm dead. Okay, that sucks. I didn't see the shield red, yeah. Yeah, because they didn't play it, so I assumed they... Wait. Did they just mill that? No, three, I don't know. You know. Freaking talking about him. Damn, that was that was like kind of close actually. Like if they didn't find the third preacher, it's kind of over. That card is degenerate. <laughs> oh, they just milled that. I I thought they milled three, so it'd be one, two, three, right? I think they milled it previously with the reef. It doesn't matter. Arcane Proxy. I don't remember. Is Arcane Proxy the... No, that's Bombardment. That six mana spell. This matchup is only difficult because they have so many, like... Cards that come down and I have to answer them or I'm just losing the game. And that is really not good. How good is Duress? Uh, it's 
pretty bad, I think, yeah. Maybe it's just Tidebinder. At least Tidebinder can turn off the freaking creature, but... The thing is, it doesn't do much itself. That's the issue. The rest feels sketchy into this deck. I think it is sketchy, because most of their deck is actually creature-based. The problem is it's... Like, it's so important for me to take their freaking removal away. But I can do that with the bat, so it's not like a huge deal. This is good. This is good. I think I have to do this, though. This is pretty much ideal. One drop into memory, into potential three drop. X is better on the, on the play. It is, but still... You know, it, it is, I don't know. It's between Gix and Tidebinder, whatever you think is more useful. Probably about... I mean, it depends. It depends on the situation, right? Yeah. I mean, I drew Shredder, which is the second best thing I could have drawn there. But we're perfect. We're perfect right now. We're perfect. No complaints. Exactly what I'd want. This is where you can really look at this deck and ask yourself, is this good? And the answer is yes. So there's definitely a place for this deck if you can if you manage to curve this out, it's kind of brutal. I think it's hard for most decks to deal with that. But I guess it's hard for you to deal with decks like that go wide though. That's the only that's the main weakness. Your scaling is fast, but it's only tall, so it's not really wide. Is this a ramp? Yeah, my interaction might be a little bit too low for ramp. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm... Yeah, I could, I could see... Okay, well, that sucks. I was gonna say, I could maybe see a direction where we just play, like, potentially four Duress main deck, and that's our interaction. I think I need to diversify the threats a little bit, though. Like, I don't think it can only be... This is kind of interesting. Do I value a singular go for the throat? Or do I value two extra lands? And these are actually active lands, but I don't think it matters too much. I think I'm gonna discard the lands. I don't know, it's just, I'm screwed either way. There's no way I'm beating double beanstalk. That's why you need shield run. How do you, how do you beat ramp? <laughs> I, I don't know. I have no clue. 
I have no idea. Well, I guess I could never beat them with double beanstalk. If they didn't have double beanstalk, maybe. Why would you do that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, because I could take it. Yeah, but still, why would you? Why not give it to me and then eventually have the opportunity to get it back? I still think that's probably wrong. Do I make both of them 3-3s three in case they have Archangel? Yeah, probably. Yeah, this is where I need Shield Red. This is where I was considering Fairy Mastermind already, so... Like, it's giving more weight to Fairy Mastermind, I think, for sure. Can I... win here? don't think so, no. Actually, maybe. Wait, did I play land? Oh, damn, damn, damn. Wait, did I... What did I have in hand? I had three cards in hand, right? I had Shredder, this, and go for the throat. I didn't have this, right? Like, can I even win? Even if... Like, considering... Okay. Seven. One. No, I can't. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. Does that mean I should not keep consider in case they have Atraxa and I might need the removal spell? Did I do the math correctly? Seven. This is three. Four. It's not enough, right? Then I might as well leave them at two then. Okay, so it's probably correct to discard this. Okay, so that will almost win next turn. Oh, actually, it probably does win. I don't know. I mean, they're dead in a lot of ways here. They need life gain. Okay, it's not going to cut it. Yeah, they, they just got pretty unlucky. They got flooded. Actually, in a way, them channeling this is maybe correct because they gained the life at least. So in the in the situation where they don't find an answer to the bat, it is actually correct. So maybe it was correct for them to channel there. It also removes the land from the deck, making it more likely they don't draw land. It was probably correct. Yeah, because they had double beanstalk. It, it was correct. All they needed was a single spell, and they just go go off there. Question is, can I win post board? That's a very good question. And it's one that we're going to have to figure out. Another question is, how the hell do I sideboard? Okay, I, I know a few things. One is that I probably can't touch this. Uh, the Tidebinder is an interesting question. I over negate, basically. I think Tidebinder is worse than negate. Negate can counter sweepers. I think that's really, really important. Actually, they're they're both good in different situations. I don't think inspired idea. I don't have, I don't think I ever have the tempo to use that. Shield red depends what. They board into. If they board out the beanstalk, it's not as good. I would assume they leave it in. I think memory is fine. Yeah, memory's fine. Two cards. I don't know if Shredder is that good. 
I have more counter magic, so I have a little bit, a little bit more reactive. They are probably never casting two spells a turn. Maybe a cut one. I think I'd value the Dream Thief more than the Shredder, just because it's a one drop. That way, I can curve out memory potentially, and then it's better with Gix as well overall. And it's probably like one shield red, I guess. Is that reasonable? Probably. I mean, it's expensive. I want to hold up counter spell sometimes. I don't know. This is a close keep, I think. I can loot away some of the lands, potentially. It's considered turn one into bat, into a potential counter spell. I'm going to try it. It's not the best by any stretch of the imagination, but... It's only bad into Beanstalk. If they find Beanstalk, I think it's really bad. But... Okay, that's not good. I don't. I never want two. Two of those. Okay, they can binding here. Doesn't. Really, okay, this is not good. This did not end up working out. I think. Oh. Oh wait, they have no white. Okay, now I'm wondering. Uh, no, that's correct. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I got lucky they kept that. That is an absolute disaster. That was way worse than my end. Okay, that's a start. Now I'm kind of happy I have both the removal spells in a way. And the Gix showing off again. I feel like every time I draw the Gix, it justifies it being in the in the dark. And now I'm thinking about <laughs> how much more I want to play, basically. It's so good. Now, Dream Thief basically drawing me a card there. <laughs> well, it's actually going to draw me two cards with the Gix. Okay. All right. <laughs> Kind of a freebie there. I mean, we're in gold, so it's not going to be the best games you've ever seen in your life, but whatever. I mean, the, the main benefit to playing this is that you're able to go down on land. I had 21 lands, let's go. <laughs> let's get it. Easy. Easy 21 lands. That was the secret sauce after all. Oh. I cut a hearse, I face a uh, graveyard land dock, of course. Uh oh, I might have to go to 20 lands. Whoops. Oh my god, inspired idea is not very good here. <laughs> Not a creature. No, it's fine. I, I I just said it. Theoretically, I'm okay against graveyard land ducks. I don't know if I need three hearts. I think that's just maybe overkill. I, now that I have bad, I think three hearts was justifiable if you're not playing bad. Now that I have more disruption, it might just be like not necessary. So this is teamer. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is not going to be too easy. I need the rest. So they're going to grab sweeper. I don't really have any plays, so just let them sweep. I guess it's kind of it's kind of okay.
I don't know what to do here. It's probably that. I don't know. I'm just going to assume that the, this is not going to be relevant in like two turns because then at that point they can just activate the sack creature anyways on six. Can't interact with it. So... Yeah, this is not looking good. I think this matchup's winnable, but I needed to find bat. I needed to find memory. I needed to find a lot of things that I did not find here. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I did not. I did not predict them not having untapped fourth land and not sweeping, because otherwise I would have considered keeping this in case they do have the ramp thing. This is good. Might be able to force them into killing this with a higher number. Too many lands. I almost want to keep that, but since that gains value in the graveyard, it's difficult to justify. Alright, I know the only 7s they have are this and... Turtle, maybe? Turtle? So it's going to be more difficult to interact with this, but they probably have a Virtue. Okay, that's a very good sign. Draw three to us or something. Problem is, it's like it's kind of equivalent to this. <laughs> I, I like I have too many cards in hand, anyways. <laughs> but I think I need to keep a creature for post sweeper. Do I believe Profs is a real deck or just a premium meme deck? Oh, I think it's a real deck. I think it's solidly tier 2. Yeah, it's solidly tier 2. It's like upper tier 2. Pretty good. Would I keep Siren here or would I keep Shredder? Probably Shredder. Oh, they're screwed. Just take a brain. Oh yeah, they're they're screwed. Probably. I say I hope they are. More value, I guess. I'm not looking for value right now, <laughs> that's for sure. Tier 1 would be Nissa, Esper, and Demir. Maybe Convoke. I have a tier list on YouTube if you want. But uh, Tier 1 is like... Um, Blue White, Ramp, Boros Convoke, and then I I would say Mono Red because it's really good against uh, a lot of the greedy decks. Like, it's actually insane against all the greedy decks. But so uh, yeah, Esper is, is arguably tier 1. I think I, I probably should have put it in tier 1. Just depends on the build, huh? Yeah, I think we're fine actually against this uh, ramp deck thing. The main problem is what the hell do I do in terms of removal? Because this is way better. If specifically I'm trying to kill the 1-3, but if they play Nyssa, then I need this. And I know one thing for effect is that they're playing the 3-4, right? So that also gives a little bit more value to this. I think it's gotta be it's gotta be go for the throat. 
Yeah, Esper has a lot of different builds. I mean, most the most popular one is the Wedding Announcement, Virtue. That one's pretty good. If as long yeah, if it's if they're playing like the more mid rangey counter wandering emperor, then yeah, I think that deck beats uh, most. I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't I don't play enough Esper to say. I don't know if it actually beats the combo decks. That was my main question. That's why I didn't put it into your one. Is that I don't know if it beats um World Soul or or Soul Tie. That's the main thing. What am I cutting? Don't I want counter magic? I'm I need to stop talking and focus for a second. Probably like one dream thief. Tidebinder. I already have... I don't think I need, like... I think I'm going for Duress game plan. I don't know. Not sure. I mean, I think I, I showed a list in that tier list thing, but... You can... I showed up all the lists in the tier list, so if you want examples... Or you can just go on MTG Goldfish or something. I don't know exactly where people get their deck lists from. But yeah, it's not really like a flash thing. It's more like a mid range, and then try to weave in a counter spell in the mid game, or or on turn two. They don't really have that much flash. Only a wandering emperor and counter spell. I think maybe fairy mastermind. Not sure. I don't think so. I know from playing this deck that this is not what you want to see on turn two. <laughs> this deck has very low interaction, so it hurts. Okay, so Virtue's in hand. We're going to grab Hideout. That's a good card. Eventually. There's a Braid. Hmm. Well, I kind of have to take it. Wait, they don't have red. That's interesting. I say that, and then they draw it. Okay, well. That sucks. So I guess I just have to do this, and then hopefully find a duress or something. Because then they can they can abrade this eventually. Alright, certainly I'm losing my board here, but that's okay. I'll follow up with Shield Red, probably. Alright, uh, I still have my board. Okay. Interesting. That means they just drew all land or they drew something they can't discard? What would that be? What would that be? I'm pretty sure they just drew land. There's no, there's no spell that they couldn't discard that wouldn't kill my bat. So it probably is double land. I don't think there's anything more valuable than getting 
rid of my board there and getting back their raid. Maybe, I don't know. They have, they have everything they need theoretically. Like they have the answer to hers here or here. So yeah, I'm not in a great. Sp I was theoretically not in a good spot if they managed to sweep, basically. Because they only need two more mana, and then they, I guess, I guess Hearst could still remove two lands from the graveyard, so it wouldn't be that big of a ramp on turn six. If not, it could, might be like a zero ramp. It's a good thing with hers. So I'm assuming they're going to end of turn bounce or something. It's good that I have the reef on, on backup as well. That way I can probably finish them off with it eventually. Gonna buff the Dream Thief, that's pretty good. I'm down to discard both lands here. I'm definitely gonna hold on to this just in case. Okay, memory's gone. That's fine. Okay with that. It does mean that my board's gonna probably disappear if they find another sweeper, but it should be fine. Extra land helps for sure. Well, maybe. That's just, it's too low tempo for them. Turtle? 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 Yeah. Sure. Kind of annoying. That's, that wasn't too bad of a turn for them then. Yeah, they're still in it, slightly. It's just one sweeper off of me being in a weird spot, for sure. Another point that's really good for me is that sweeper costs red. This also costs red. They don't have two red right now. Means I should be able to keep my hearse around. So step one is them finding sweeper in the first place, and then step two is them finding untapped red source. Okay. Okay, that's totally fine. So I can say goodbye to Hearst, but uh, got another one. I do have another one. Not that I necessarily need to use it now. Okay. I do have to kill them pretty fast here. Otherwise, I could just... Well, actually, I won't die. That's the good thing. That's the really good thing about Shield Red in my deck is that it gains so much life that even if they do manage to resolve this, they will not be able to kill me with it. Which means I still have a lot of time. And they don't gain life themselves by using it, so... Eventually they'll die to the second shield red, or my land or something. 